Let me go, you insane three-sided... Well, what is this place? We'll meet again. Don't know where, don't know when. Oh, I know we'll meet again some sunny day. Where am I? You're in the penthouse suite, kid. The tip of the pyramid. Have a drink. Make yourself comfortable. You know that couch is made from living human skin? <laughs> ah! Quit the game, Cypher. If I'm still alive, you must want something from me. Ah, uh, sharp as ever, Fordzy. As you may have noticed, I've recently had a multi-dimensional makeover. I control space, matter, and now that that dumb baby's out of the way, time itself. But I wasn't always this way. <laughs> you think those chains are tight? Imagine living in the second dimension. Flat minds in a flat world with flat dreams. I liberated my dimension, Stanford, and I'm here to liberate yours. There's just one hitch. As it turns out, my weirdness can't escape the magical confines of this town. There's something keeping me in. Incredible. Gravity Falls, natural law of weirdness magnetism. I studied this years ago. And did you find a way to undo it? Of course. There's a simple equation that could collapse the barrier. But I'd never tell you. Listen, Ford, if you just tell me that equation, finally your dimension will be free. Anything will be possible. I'll remake a fun world, a better world. A party that never ends with a host that never dies. No more restrictions, no more laws. You'd be one of us, all powerful greater than anything you've imagined. And all I need is your help. You're insane if you think I'll help you. <laughs> I'm insane either way, Brainiac, but have it your way. I'll just fish around and get that equation directly out of your mind. Not so fast. You know the rules, Bill. You may be able to haunt my dreams, but you can't enter my mind unless I shake your hand and let you in. <sighs> You're making this so much harder than it needs to be. Everyone has a weakness, tough guy. I'll make you talk. It's only a matter of time. Huh?